30s. I took over a small church. The church only had seven people in it. And uh, he eventually ended up going to school. Got married to a young lady named Jeannie. Out of all their kids, only one survived. They had a little girl named my brother. And after he became a pastor of a little church that only had seven people, he kind of helped to build the membership. Moved to Atlanta. And then the young lady uh, met somebody from a town just like this. Matter of fact, he was from this town. Dude named Mike. Dude named Mike. And he didn't really care for Mike that much, I would admit. But I heard of Mike and couldn't stop love. So they went over there and got married. Matter of fact, they moved into his house. So he keep my own money. <laughs> and then lo and behold, after lessons, Mike took over. Mike turned out to be a pastor too. And they had three kids. Mike and Alberta. Oldest one, Christine. Named the youngest, named his son, the middle child after himself. Named the younger child after the granddad, Albert. And then, lo and behold, Mike and Dad went to Europe and heard about this preacher that lived 400 years ago. 400 years. He got kicked out of church because he was calling the folks, saying they were wearing all this jewelry and they weren't living right, so they kicked him out of church. Guy's name was Martin Luther. He was so enamored of this guy. He said, "You know what? I'm going to change my name." Yes, I am. Oh yeah, I'm not going to change my name. My two-year-old son, I will change his name too. And so, at two years old, Michael King became Martin Luther. Now, of course, we know the rest of the story. We know when Martin Luther King turned 35, he said a speech in Washington, D.C. On one side was the Washington Monument, on the other side was the Lincoln Memorial. And I wonder if anyone would have told Martin Luther King while he was saying that speech about the dream that you are standing right now and reciting a speech beside the tomb of the man who freed your granddaddy a hundred years ago mm. to this very day. Alfred was born in 1863. I have a dream speech was in 1960. Just by a sound of applause, clap if you knew that Martin Luther King's father was from Scott Grace Jordan. Still I prayed for some healing in this week. 
and on dark nights when the Ku Klux Klan came to burn down all my dreams. Out from the ashes, Alpha by Alpha took my hand and brought healing in his wings. And he lifted me up to build this nation. Though it's never accepted me. They kept us from the celebrations. They called us everything but free. And I've been a soldier in foreign lands. Fighting for what I thought was the truth. Only to come home and went by from the man that I was hated for the news. Yes, I've known wars. And I've known pain, but the reason why I still sing, because right up through good times and bad, we call him his name, and he brings healing in his wings. When I marched for justice, they told me no. But pastor, we walk with our hands on fire. And through freedom songs and the fists and outros, we stay black. Baby, we stay right. And you know, for my children, see our 44th president, and they ask me, what does it mean? I say, baby, you can be whatever you meant. You can still be all in your dreams. Because we all didn't make it to that mountain top. But the echoes of freedom still ring. He's been our Lord and he's been our rock. And Frank, he's from him in his wings. And from all things, from our God to this land, Chris, we will see everything tomorrow brings. And that is why. That's why we still stand. Because God brings him in his way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh,